my face. <laughs> 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 What the fuck, Ew. Ew. Good morning. Today is Saturday, the 28th of May. Mm, I have cream on my lips for medication. So bear with me. But uh, no, it's already around 11.30, 11 ish. Um, it's our day off together, by the way, me and Danny. Since not home because she went to a party somewhere and she slept over at her boyfriend's. And uh, we didn't make it late at all yesterday. We tried to watch some K drama. It was called Business Proposal. Not a big fan, but it was it was funny to see. And then we started watching some anime. I fell asleep. The nanny fell asleep and woke up around nine kept it chill but both of us don't really feel so well um, I'm also a little stuffy and now I'm starting to get a headache uh, regardless I took a shower and we're trying to just be very fresh for today we're gonna go to Albertain or Yumbo or supermarket and do some small things that we're supposed to do um, have some really nice breakfast um, I need to return some stuff because I bought this really cool Joby tripod and the thing that I found so cool about it is it's like a tiny tripod with three legs. But the top part where you can like screw the camera on is also a extendable mon monopod. So you can put the three legs together and then hold it like a selfie stick and you can adjust the height. So you can also use it as a tall tripod, small tripod, selfie stick, short and long. Um, which I thought was also really cool for angles when you like want to turn the camera around and film your feet walking on, I don't know, sand, and it's all like dramatic. And it's Joby, so I paid like some good ass money for that stuff. But the, I don't know, the, the, the mechanics of it just didn't really feel right. It's not sturdy enough, because when you want to extend the stick, you have to twist it to the right to lock and twist to the left to unlock. But it so easily unlocks and then it just kind of floops back into small state. So yeah, I'm going to return that. That was a very long way for me to explain why I want to return something. And then we're going to H&M because I have to return uh, one piece that I found so pretty, but it just, like the sizing wasn't fine, like good enough for me. Like I'm a little too tall, so it was like hooking onto my JJ. So we're going to return that. But I do need to find a nice outfit because tonight we're going to a champagne festival. Don't drink alcohol. Um, don't like champagne. I do like bubble, bubbly, bubbly, bubbles, prosecco. I don't know. Um, but it's more about just like going to like dress up and going outside. It's also close to where Danny works. So yeah, that's the plan for dinner time. But for now, we're just gonna chill a little. Danny's working on something. So yeah, outfit for today, just to go to the supermarket. This oversized sweater that I got from H&M for 9 euros. H&M trousers for like 29. Love the color. The usual shoes. And I'm wearing pearly earrings.
Champagne Festival and we passed by the arcade and it's been months that it's like maybe we should go and have a look and it's been so long but it's so much fun, look! Happy Sunday everyone! Well, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, it means that I am on my way to work. Um, yesterday's summary, we actually had a shit ton of fun going to the festival. It was called Fête de, Fête, Fête de Champagne, if I say correctly. It's basically a festival full of champagne and wine, bubbly, all the stuff that we usually don't like, but we found this one drink. It was really nice, and after three wine glasses, I was quite there, I was tipsy. And uh, it started to rain maybe around 7, so we went home on time, but we did have a lot of fun. It was supposed to be insanely cold, but the sun was shining and music was there. So yeah. And we just do the whole walking out of my door so you can see the kind of weather we have. Oh, it's not that bad at all. I'm off to work. Wednesday. I'm home alone. Danny is working late because it's the end of the month and at the end of the month he has to do all this calculating thing at work and my sister literally like five minutes away just left because she's watching a movie with her boyfriend. So I'm home alone. So I am cleaning up right now because my parents are coming. Uh, well, they're only coming for a bit though because we're driving them to the airport because my mom is leaving to the Philippines and my dad is leaving to Bali. Hope to make me jealous one on one. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to clean up because my mom is very eagle eyes on like clean stuff. And I think it's just nice as an excuse for me to actually just clean up over here. So I'm trying to start with the kitchen. And the thing is, it doesn't matter how much you clean up, it just takes one person afterwards to kind of like smack a plate somewhere on the sink and then you're done for it. Just everything starts to pile up again. So I'm going to try and clean up now because by the time Danny comes home, it's late so we won't eat anything. And by the time Kassin and Thais come back, I'll just lock them in their own bedroom. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. A little update. Kitchen's clean. I sometimes have, I'm sorry, but the dishwasher's on, hence the sound. But I don't know if um, any of you guys have it. I'm 26 years old. And I feel like I already get like, like heat, hot heat flashes, warm flashes, hot flashes. We're just out of nowhere, there's just like this big bubble of anger and I become warm and everything just... So I cleaned the kitchen and as you heard, the rice is done because I'm really hungry. And all I had to do was fry the gyozas. But yesterday when I bought the gyozas, I kind of forgot to put them like in the freezer on time. So they kind of, little bit, defrosted. They defroze. Whatever. They got gooey instead of still frozen. So now they're frozen together. 
But I had two minutes before my rice is done and I am very like specific with timing. I need everything to be done on time. But it just, it wasn't defrosting. So I grabbed the knife and I started cutting small pieces. Now you can see, this is not gonna go well when I fry it because it's just gonna all blob out. But I got angry and I grabbed the knife and I just started smacking it. And this is the end result. This is, this is my dinner. That's the knife. That's my food. And yeah. Like this is the lime and the sour cream are so bright and the pico de gallo has so much flavor that you don't want the fish to go lost. Yeah. If you had a little bit more of that beer in the beer batter, I think you would have... Okay, go for it. Was it recording? Yes. Uh, hello, my name's Thijs. It is a day today. I don't know which one, doesn't matter. <laughs> and we're at Aloha? Yes. We're Aloha with, 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 with this lovely lady, um, with Cinta and with Dani as well. And we're about to I'm, go bowling. We're about to go bowling, and I'm a vlogger now, so yeah, <laughs> just heads up. You're gonna be seeing a lot of me on this channel. Don't worry about it. Just subscribe. Yeah, only for that. Guys, not for me. Yeah, subscribe for me. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you put in the comments that it's not for Belle. That would be lovely. And You're great. You should do this more often. I know it's natural. <laughs> but, but, you know, <laughs> no big deal. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, stay humble. I kicked your ass at bowling. I kicked your ass at bowling. Yeah, my arm hurts. Huh? My arm hurts. And for Thais, he said it's because his shoes were too big. Ksenta just sucks at it. Ksenta <laughs> <laughs> has no excuse. Ksenta has no excuse. You have an excuse Johnny why you were Depp bad? Won. Huh? Johnny Depp Johnny, won. Johnny won the case. He did! Yeah. Yeah. Hell Zero. yes! Zero. It's 7.30, finally wearing a dress because it's going to be like 21 degrees. Um, I'm also not that much in a hurry because a colleague of mine is coming to train for opening which means um, I didn't do anything at home which I normally do just to have more time at work to just relax and not stress too much. But that wasn't needed because she's gonna do it today. <clears throat> so yeah. In my dress today, it's gonna be nice weather. Um, my parents left for Bali yesterday. I didn't want to video or anything because, I don't know, it felt a bit weird. But we had a really nice day and then afterwards we went bowling with Kacinta uh, and with Tyson and with Danny. 
uh, kicked their asses really, really well. Like, I was badass at bowling. <clears throat> but yeah, today start around eight, which means I'm done around four. And I don't know, Cousin's gone for a week, so um, just gonna be me and Danny at home. But that's pretty cool because then um, I get to redecorate her whole room. So I'm like every day, like I'm kind of like brainstorming what to do, where to put the bed, what color to paint what. So in terms of that, I'm really excited. It is gonna be weird not to have Cassandra at home at all for like a whole week. Also an adjustment. But let's see. Okay, now I gotta get ready. Everybody have a nice day. Um, yeah. Feels weird to vlog at work. Hi. Happy Thursday, everyone. I just came back from work and I quickly changed from my dress into more of a summery outfit because it's insanely warm outside. But I am 45 minutes away from my dentist appointment. So I thought I was gonna go uh, let me see. Pick up uh, some of my medicine. That's the one I have to do. Which is on the way anyways. And then towards the dentist. And after my dentist appointment, I wanted to go into the city because Thursday is Koopavond. Which means like all the shops are open longer than usual. Like normally they're open from 6 until 6, sorry. Uh, but now they're open until 9. And Danny's having dinner with his friends, so... I can take this opportunity to go shopping. Afterwards, me and Dani wanted to go out um, to an event called Bamboo. Bamboo, I think. And it's in a club called Oliva in Rembrandtplein. So yeah, that's the agenda for today. I also have my beautiful pieces on for my jewelry. I actually really like the fact that it's on my pinky, even though it's a tad too big. But uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the agenda today. Weather-wise... Oh, oh, this feeling. Okay. Weather-wise, it's really nice. And that makes going to the dentist that much more painful. Because I don't want to walk around with a really weird... Hanging mouth after this, but that's fine. If that's what it comes to, then that's how it shall go. Okay, I'm head out. Because I have some stuff to do. Bloop, bloop. Good afternoon slash almost evening already. <clears throat> Just finished my dinner. Um, and the reason why I only start vlogging right now um, is because I literally just woke up. Me and Danny went out yesterday. Um, yeah, he worked in the evening slash afternoon, so he came home around 9, because he also had dinner with friends. And since it's just the two of us, because cousin has gone for a bit, we, um... Yeah, we thought like, okay, might as well let's try to go out or do something. So we spent 15 euros per person on a club, on an event called Bamboo Event. And mind you, on the internet, uh, on their Instagram, all the songs that you hear are disco and funk, which is just like, that's the music that me and Danny go to. Anything else is kind of just... We're getting too old for it and we really like old school disco stuff. It's just a lot of happy and fun feelings. So we bought tickets, 15 years per person. We were like, fuck it, let's do it. Got to Rembrandtplein. And as soon as we stood in line, I was like, why is everyone so young and like 16 and just, diff you know, like younger vibes. So we got inside and the club was so tiny. And the amount of people they let in is just unbearable. Like you can't move. And the music was, let me see, Mariah Carey singing Obsessed, 
uh, to the background song of Seven Rings of Ariana Grande. Try to put those songs together and then try to dance to it in a crowd that's like too full. So yeah, I think we made it 30 minutes and I kid you not when I say 30 minutes, after half an hour we had enough. Um, and we walked home from Rembrandtplein, which is maybe like an hour, an hour and a half walk, but it was really nice. I think that was nicer than the club itself. You know this jacket by now, it's from Naked. Then I got a set, hold on. Got this set from H&M and this top is from New Yorker. It's like a euro for this top. Bring my sneakers with this and I'm wearing really cute earrings that we got at Bijou and Bouquet. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 